What's up guys, I'm back and here we go with game six. The final game of the main disc of TV Seen It. And the the chair piece is our champion. It beat out the satellite dish to be the champion of the main game, so no number die, moves one space on every spot. Just roll the category die. And let's see how this one goes. Let's see how our count goes. Cause the last time in the last game we had something we had never had before. In game five of TV Seen It, we had no my plays. Not a single one. Ten all plays, the same amount as like the last um, game before that, game four. But um, there was not a single my play. For the first time ever in a Seen It gameplay, there were no my plays at all. But there is a chance we could get one here because without the number die and it's moving a spot in every space, there's a good chance it won't happen. So let's get started. And then I might try and at least start the bonus disc later where I'll have to shorten the game board from its long state because um, because of um, I studied the bonus disc the bonus disc before like all four of the decades. And there's not that many puzzles of all plays or my plays in them. So yeah, there's not that many all plays or my plays of the um on the um bonus disc um decades of each decade. There's not that many, so but just to make sure we can get some of them, I'll still have all six pieces play, but shorten the board. So here we go with our champion game. So the chair is our champion. Move it up one spot in each space. Although the buzz cards are still active, like, I'll still do those. Now, I don't know if on, like, Seen It Junior when I did this, that I, um, had the buzz cards active. In the last game but we'll definitely be doing it so move up its first spot and the first thing we're doing in this game is a star so it's an all play so first all play of the game of our champion game so what's our first all play gonna be rising stars we did not get this in the last game oh I don't know who that is I don't know if we had this category in game four either. I think we did, but playing the games before, we got a couple, but we did not have this category in the last game. I don't, I do not remember seeing it. Oh, that's Drew Carey. Oh, Drew Carey. Okay. That's who it was. But, um, yeah, of the 10 all plays that we got in the last game, we had plenty of the categories, but we didn't get that one. But shows up again here as the first all play of the game. Next. Oh, we got a my play, so one and one. So we will have a my play in this game, unlike the last one. So that so that will leave TV Scene at Game Five as the only game without a my play, since we got one right here. Of any scene of video I've done, that last game was the only game without one. All right. So let's see what we get. All right. Of course, it's a gummy clip. Oh, I don't think we've had this one. May I ask what you're doing? We're exhuming your potato. Huh? May I ask why? Sheriff, it, it's it's been documented that many serial killers have a fascination with police work. Some of them even holding positions on their local force. So, surveillance of investigation team members is often utilized as a precaution. We found out you used to be a dog-faced boy. Boy, look how skinny I was back then. It's a lot of hair. So that is you. Oh, sure. I spent the first half of my life as Jim Jim. Then one morning I noticed a bald spot on top of my head and realized I wasn't only losing my hair, but my career as well. Eventually, all the hair went. On top of my head, anyways. The rest of my body's still pretty hairy, which is why I never go to the beach. That doesn't quite explain the potato. 
I got uh, some warts on my hand. That doesn't quite explain the potato. <laughs> that doesn't explain a potato. What line is spoken by both Scully and Mulder in this clip? That doesn't explain the potato. Because they say it at the end. So this is the X-Files, because I know Scully and Mulder are on that show. Plus one of the buzz cards has their name on it. Yep, that doesn't quite explain the potato. And it is the X-Files. Because I know, I can recognize those names. I haven't watched the X-Files that much, but I want to watch that show. Like, I want to watch the X-Files, but I can recognize those names. I know those names are from that show. And one of the buzz cards has their names on it. I mean, I've seen clips of it. I think on the regular movie scene at the X-Files movie, there was a clip of it on there. What the hell? Um, but, yeah, that's a show I want to watch. So, so, even though I haven't watched that show, I can recognize where those names are from. Mulder and Scully. But, I'll get to watch them eventually. When I can find the right time to. Or if it has a DVD set of it, then I'll get it. I'll make sure to do it. Next. Trivia card. What clothing company slogan is, you'll look like the way you look. I guarantee it. It's Men's Warehouse. Yeah, it wear is spelled W-E-A-R instead of W-A-R-E. It makes sense for clothing wear. Next. Second, my play. Oh. So two my plays, one all play. One of the times that the my play count pulls ahead. And it's another clip. Alright, what are we gonna get this time? Oh, we've had this clip before. You kidding me? I got Chloris across the lake. I got happy the days. Forest Ranger's daughter over the hill. It's happy days. Of course, we've had this clip. It, <laughs> I think maybe I'll just. Zack out here, snuggle up with the fire. Play cowboy for a while. <laughs> Play cowboy for a while. Oh, and the, uh, the animals are going to start bothering him. Then he's going to yell, cool it. We've seen this clip plenty of times. Okay, the owl, the raccoon, frogs, woodpecker, squirrel, owl. What is Fonzie's last name? We had this question before too. Fonzarelli. Yeah, I, the reason why I keep saying the animal names on it is because I keep thinking one of the questions that's going to come up if we get it is name the animals. Or name at least one, or name the animals in the scene. But so far we haven't had that question. But yeah, we had that one before. Had that question before. We did have another... We did have another question about who the daughter is like with the camp ranger or something, or the forest ranger, his daughter or something. Next. Buzz card. You just knocked over the Fonz's motorcycle. Not cool. Move back two spaces while you hang out with Poxy. Uh, the Fawn. so speaking of Fonzie and Happy Days, there's the buzz card one, which we had it before, but we haven't had that one that often. Trivia card. What sitcom starred Leah Thompson as a cartoonist with a cat named Salty? It is Caroline in the City. Never even heard of that one, really. Or I might have, but I haven't seen much of it. Next, another trivia card. What company name completes the ad slogan? They don't say blank until I say they... Haynes. Oh. Oh yeah, the underwear. Next, second all play, so the count's even, two and two. Alright, our first all play was Rising Stars. What's the next one going to be, the second one? Pictograms. We actually got this one in the last game, only once, but showing up again here. Alright. Um, P-Pole, um, that's P-Pole. Uh, that one, um, ah, oh, crap, real people, ah, oh, I got those two, but not that one, real people, yep, 
Dang it, I could not get what that first image was. Next. A star, so now it's a my play. Third my play of the game. So that count pulls ahead again. Three my plays, two all plays. And yet another clip. What are we going to get this time? Oh, we've had this one before. Oh. Dragnet. Well, I don't know. I don't really. What? 5.30? All right. Yes. Here, saw me to them. All right. Bye. Sergeant? Yes, ma'am. That was Johnny just then. He wanted to make sure I was going to meet him. When? 5.30 in Lake Park. Which side, miss? The west side. Sergeant, I could hardly understand him. He said he was sick. Yeah. He sounded sick, too. Terribly sick. It can't be true. I hope to God it's not true. What's that? Some narcotics he stole from that man. You say they were powerful? Yes, ma'am, we did. Johnny's been taking them for two days. All right. Named the actor who plays Sergeant Joe Friday. Oh, we had that question before. I forgot it, though. Dang it. We've had that question before on this clip. Crap, I forgot it. Um, oh, it was Jack Webb. Dang it. And you have to show his dragon. If it was named the show, I would have gotten it right. Buzz card. The good news, you've been chosen to appear on Fear Factor. The bad news, those are real worms they're putting in the blender. Drink up and move back two spaces. Yeah, we've had this buzz card at least once, the Fear Factor one. At least one time. Alright. All play number three. The count's even again. Three and three. So what's our third all play going to be? Tune in. Um, oh, we've had this one before. Um, the West Wing. Because, yeah, we've had this one before. Because I remember it saying that the Glenn Close guest stars, Supreme Court, President Bartlett, the West Wing. I remembered it. I didn't get it the first time that we got it. I didn't get the name of it, but I remembered that one. That one stuck with me. So I got it that time. It's the first time we got that one, I missed it. This time I got it. Oh, hold on. Right here. Hang on, let me check. I thought I heard some. I thought they were here, but no, they're not. So I looked out the door and checked. Trivia card. What company said, have it your way? Burger King. Yep, that's easy. Burger King. Next. A star, so now it's a trivia card. Next time it's a star, it's a buzz card. Come on, land on a trivia card. Come on, I got the card in hand. What 60s series featured David Jansen as a man on the run, Barry Morse as his pursuer, and William Conrad as the show's narrator? It was The Fugitive. Trivia card again. What car company has used the slogan, Drivers Wanted? Volkswagen. Next, another trivia card. What show began in 1998 when sisters Prue, Piper, and Phoebe discovered they had inherited supernatural powers? It is Charmed. Yep. All play number four. So now the all play count moves ahead. Four all plays, three my plays. And what's our next all play going to be?
Pictograms again. Ah, oh, so it's gonna appear more than once in this game. This category is. Alright. Um. My. Um. Potato. E. Um. Oh. My am. Me. Am. Oh, wh were those yams? Miami Vice. Oh, that was a vice grip at the bottom. Ah. Dang it. I don't think we had that category up here more than once in, throughout TV Cena. So, of the TV Cena games, this one's been the game with plenty of the pictograms. Buzz card. Your visit to Fantasy Island is fantastic, as you and Tattoo slaughter Mr. Rourke and Hulk Hogan in a tag team wrestling match. Move forward one space and celebrate. Yeah, we've had this one before. Another buzz card. You provide a vital tip that leads to the arrest of yet another fugitive on America's Most Wanted. Bask in the spoils of heroism by moving ahead two spaces. Another buzz card. The good news is that Charlotte thinks you're fun, Miranda thinks you're intelligent, Samantha thinks you're hot, and Carrie thinks you're complex. The bad news is that none of them thinks you're marriage material. Move back two spaces and regroup. Alright, trivia card. What product had people declaring, I can't believe I ate the whole thing in its commercials? Alka-Seltzer. Alright. Another trivia card, same category too. What sitcom's title completes the theme song there? It takes blank to move the world. Oh, different strokes, yep. And I guessed it before I looked at it. So, don't worry, I'm not cheating or anything. If I don't have an answer, I'll just go ahead and straight look at it. Because I don't want to take too long trying to think of it. Right, next. Another trivia card. Finish the theme song voiceover. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. Ah, the A-Team. My play number four. So the count's even again. Four and four. No, wait. Is it? Uh, yeah, I believe it is. Um, Four all plays, four my plays. I don't think we've had five all plays yet. Yeah, we'll say four and four. So the count's even again with another my play. Yeah, I remember... I said that the all play count pulled ahead at four and the my plays were at three, so yeah, we're four and four. Four all plays, four my plays. Well, Luke, we finally made it. The end of the rainbow. Oh, we haven't had this clip yet. Liberation. We haven't had this one yet. All right. Do wipe, wipe. Your mother's gonna. Do you have any idea how long I have been waiting to do this? What? Oh, putting your feet on your mother's couch. You are bad, Hauser. You are so bad. They can't stop us now, Vince. No one can. We're free. 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 Hey, look, Ma. Hey, I'm bouncing the ball in the living room. I can put somebody's eye out. No more posters. I'm making rings. Oh, look. They're starting to form already. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look, it's past my bedtime. I'm overtired and overstimulated. Oh. Look. What? Yeah. Yeah. I'm leaning back in my chair at a very precarious angle. What can I say, Duke? We're a couple of wild men. Are they going to fall? Ben, you and I are going to be the best roommates ever. The sacred dream lives, Duke. Nothing, nothing can stop us now. Whoa! I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Name the actor who played the title role. Oh, I don't know what show this is. It looks like a cool show, but them two are a bunch of troublemakers. That's what their problem is. They're troublemakers. I don't know what show it is, though. But we haven't had that clip before, so I was pretty interested to see that one. Um. Oh, Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, the show's Doogie Howser, MD. Oh. I've seen it on other things, but I don't think I've had a clip from the show up here yet in my play. Okay. So it was Doogie Howser, MD. Next. A star, so now it's a buzz card. Next time it's the star, it's an all play. 
You visit the real bar in Boston that inspired Cheers, but nobody knows your name. After buying an overpriced souvenir, move back two spaces. Alright, so we've had that one before. Trivia card. What was the title of Stephen Bochco's 1990 Police Station musical series? Cop Rock. Trivia card. Finish the theme song lyric. Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. The Beverly Hillbillies. Alright. A star, so now it's an all play. All play number five. Next time we get the star, it's on my play. All play number five. Let's see what it is. Spellbinder. Eight is enough. Ooh, got that at the last second. Trivia card. What groundbreaking miniseries featured Nick Nolte, or Nick Nolte, and Peter Strauss as Ed Asner's sons? Rich man, poor man. A star, so now to my play. The count's even again. Five and five. Five all plays, five my plays. Another clip. We've had all clips so far. Like, Jesus, I don't think we... Oh, we haven't had this clip before. Okay, that's cheating. Hey, Buff, what's up? You look like you just get out of here now. Fine, but I was going to give you a sip of my double mint mocha, but... Behind you? Nice. Look who's got a bad case of dark prince envy. I have no interest in you. Leave us. No, we're not going to leave you. And where'd you get that accent? Sesame Street? <laughs> One, two, three. Three victims. Look out. Uh, 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 uh. Dude. I'm pretty sure that's Dracula. You better get out of there. Wow, really? Hey, sorry, man. I was just joking around. This is not the time. I will see you soon. Oh. Oh, man. What is the first name of Buffy's female friend in this clip? Oh, so it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, ah, crap, I didn't hear it. But I was about to say that we haven't had the all play and my play count stay that close like that throughout the game that much. Willow. Ah, the show is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I don't think we've ever had a game where the all play and the my play counts the same meter. So that'd be a first too. Like last game we had no my plays. Would this be a first where we have the same amount of all plays and my plays? Because we've never had it that close throughout most of the game. Next. Trivia card. What crime solver was fond of asking who loved your baby? Kojak. Another my play, the my play count pulls ahead. Six. Six my plays, five all plays. And now we should get some melts besides a clip, like a sequential or a channel surfing. Yep, we're getting sequentials. It better not be that same those same ones again. Oh, it's different. Finally they gave me different sequentials. Um I'm gonna guess. B D A C, that's my guess. Oh, it was C A D B. CPO Sharky 76, BJ and the Bear 79, TJ Hooker 82, and BL Striker 89. Well, that's a change of pace. They finally gave me a different sequentials. Finally. Because in all the last games, every time we got a sequentials, it was all those sitcom shows. Like, have Roseanne, Newhart, um, Ellen. I forgot what that last one was. But, yeah, we kept getting those for sequentials. And now they finally gave me something else.
Buzz card. And for the star thing, next time we land on the star, it's a trivia card. I'm trying to remember that. Alright. The good news, your agent calls to tell you you've landed a guest spot on ER. The bad news, you'll be lying on a gurney, bandaged from head to toe. That show biz. Move ahead two spaces. Another buzz card. Your new buddy series starring you and a canine partner is a runaway hit. Unfortunately, the dog is stealing most of the scenes, as well as most of your lines. Move back two spaces. So move forward two and then back two. My play number seven. Oh, seven my plays, five all plays. Jesus. And the my play count usually doesn't finish ahead of the all play count either. I don't think we've ever had that happen before, so that could be a first too. Alright, so we should be back to clips, unless they give me a channel surfing. Ah, uh, we're back to clips. Alright, seven my plays, five all plays. Still remembering the count. Oh, we've had this clip. Except, we didn't get a, we didn't get a question the last time we got it. Because it, um, exited on me. Oh, we did get a question this time. How many times does Laverne cling the teacup on the outside? Um, I'm going to say five. But yeah, last time we got this clip, we didn't get a question because it exited on me. This time we do. All right, my guess is five. Oh, I got it right. Lucky guess. Laverne and Shirley. But yeah, last time we got that clip... There was no question because it exited on me. I had to re restart the whole thing, but we got one this time. So. Alright, now another all play. All play number six, but the my play count still ahead with seven. Alright, what's all play number six going to be? Distorted reality. Identify the actor. Oh, now there's a tricky one. But I actually know what it is, too. Mr. T. From the A-Team. It's Mr. T. Mr. T. So see? Yep. The first time I got one of these types of distorted realities right, where it actually shows a clip from the show, a picture from the show, so... Mr. T. I'm trying to do the symbol, or the letter thing, but, um... Because, now, usually doing it like that is how you make the distorted reality on here a little more tricky. As if you actually have a bigger box and not the TV Guide magazine covers. So, I actually got that one. Mr. T, also from the Rocky movies. Well, Rocky 3, mainly. But, um, yeah, one of the bigger box distorted realities. And I actually got it right. So... Although most of them I got was with the TV guy thing. Next. Trivia card. What actresses played the title characters on Kate and Allie? Susan St. James and Jane Curtin. Trivia card, same category too. Who played Herman on the Munsters? Fred Gwynn. They had that... They have that question on um, the My Play clip as well. I remember we had that question before. A star, so now it's a trivia card. Next time we get the star, it's a buzz card. Come on, I got the card in hand. There we go. Name, this, name the sitcom that had its star singing Those Were the Days as its theme song. All in the family. Because that's, um, 
I forgot the wife's name. Her, was it Edith? And then Archie was singing it too. Alright, trivia card. What show popularized the saying, sit on it? Happy days. Alright. And now the count's even again. The all plays have caught up. Seven and seven. Seven all plays now, and seven my plays. What's the seven fall play gonna be? Invisibles. Oh, I don't know if we got. No, I don't think we had this category in the last game, but it returns here. Oh, we had this one before too. Um, we've had this one before. I forgot it. Crap! What was it? Oh, I was married with children. Trivia card. What are the first names of the four finalists from the original Survivor in 2000? Richard, Kelly, Rudy, and Susan. Yeah, that tune in we had Survivor on there. That's more of a definite clue right there. Just figuring out in case somebody doesn't um, have that tune in yet, they read the card here and they can get it when that one comes up. Buzz card. After demanding a million dollars an episode for a show that never cracked the top 100, the only gig you can get is doing infomercials for the Thigh Commander. Move back one space. Trivia card. Fill in the blank to complete the ad claim. Four out of five dentists recommend blank for their patients who chew gum. Trident. Oh. Trivia card. What series featured super spies John Steed, Emma Peel, and Cappy Gale? The Avengers. Yeah, not that, I don't think it's that superhero Avengers, it's the, um, the spy Avengers, I believe, that had that, um, movie in 1998, which wasn't really a good movie from what I've heard. Eighth all play, the all play counts pull ahead. Eight all plays, seven my plays. Alright, what's it gonna be? All play number eight is Pictograms, third time, announced the name of character. Um, oh, Ar Archie Bunker, the Arch E Bung Car, so Archie Bunker, from All in the Family, the character everybody knows from that show, yep, Archie Bunker, always heard on the insults of people, despite that buzz card saying you managed to spend a day without him insulting you, but yeah, that's gotta be the most number of times that Pictograms has appeared on TV seen it. Because in all the other games where Pictograms appeared, at least one or two games where it didn't appear. But the ones where it did, it usually appeared like once or twice. Here, this is the third time it's appeared in this game. So, I believe. Even that, even like game one, which had a lot of all plays, I don't remember seeing it that much. Yet another all play. All play number nine. Alright, nine all plays, still seven my plays. And this one's gonna be tuned in. Uh, I don't think we've had this one. Wait, is it Fear Factor? It's Fear Factor, isn't it? They have to share a coffin with snakes, consume stink beetles. Bob for pig's hearts in a tub of cow eyeballs. A Joe Rogan host. It's Fear Factor. Yep. I've watched some of Fear Factor, but not a whole lot. But I remember talking about it before, how controversial the show is before it's like disgusting moments. Gross moments. But, I mean, I'm not too grossed out by that much stuff. I can actually handle watching that. Because I don't get grossed out that easily by stuff, so I can be able to handle that. I can handle, like, seeing a lot of blood, gore. Like, here's the thing. Plenty of other people I know, they, like, go down in fear. Like, they look away from the gore. Me, sometimes, I just laugh at that shit. Like, enjoying it, laughing at it. So, yeah, I'm a little weird when it comes to that, but, hey. At least I'm, that means I'm mad enough to watch them. So, now if I can handle that, I can handle watching Fear Factor, it's gross moments. Alright, 
right, next. A star, so it's a buzz card. Next time we get the star, it's an all play. Mulder and Scully are knocking at your door again. Go back two spaces while you look for your spaceship. Now there's what I was talking about when we got the X-Files clip earlier in the game of the buzz card that has their names on it. Trivia card. One 1970s sitcom featured a brother named Raj, a sister named Dee, and a waitress named Shirley. What's happening? Trivia card. What was the name of the sketch comedy show from the early 80s that launched the career of Michael Richards? Fridays. Trivia card. What medical drama featured doctors played by Howie Mandel, Denzel Washington, and Ed Begley Jr.? Saying elsewhere. Buzz card. Alexis just slapped you, Blake bankrupted you, and Fallon wrecked your Ferrari, but the ratings have never been better. Uh, let's hold this card, make a player lose a turn at critical time. A star, so it's an all play. All play number 10. So we're actually going to get more all plays in this game than the last two games. Because um, games 4 and 5 both had 10 all plays. And we're at number 10 right now. So, Alright, let's see what our 10th all play is. We're still at 7 my plays. It's going to be Spellbinder. Alright, um, the fall guy. We had this one in the last game, and I, like, guessed right the last second, but I know it now. The fall guy. Yeah, not gonna trick me this time. Because in game five, like, the last letter appeared right as I was saying it, so, but I got it beforehand this time. So, yeah, not gonna fool me again with that one. Eighth my play. Here we go. Ten all plays and now eight my plays. Oh, it's channel surfing. Alright. Hello, Bert! Uh -huh. Did you hear that, dear? Sure. What did I say? Ataraxia was the term they chose to use. Out of rocks, you. I can't explain what I'm trying to say very well, but. Mr. Dixon, would you please explain to my father how come you got a D on this test? Is that Kurt Talk? God. That was good. Wait. Good, very good. Um. What three kinds of animals did we see while surfing? Uh, the cockatoo, the parrot, the bear, and, um. Crap, what was it? What was the third one? Ah. Uh, a bear, a cockatiel, bird, and a monkey. Ah, uh, it was a monkey. No, it was cockatiel. Oh. I got two of them, but... I mean, I know I didn't get all three of them, but... That's the best I've done on a channel surfing so far, at least getting some of it right. Because on the last ones, I didn't get them. So that's the best I've done on that category so far. Alright, a star, so now it's an all-play. Oh, wait. Or did I actually land on the symbol? All-play symbol for the other one. I'll go with it. All-play number 11. Next time we get the star, it's a my-play. So, 11 all-plays and 8 my-plays. Pictograms again. Fourth time. The most times it's appeared on a TV scenic game so far. On any of the TV scenic videos. My three sons... Like, the M and the I, and the three pictures of sun, so, my three sons. So I got that one right. Yep. Trivia card. What show was originally called These Friends of Mine was set at a store called By the Book and featured TV's first central lesbian character. Oh, it was Ellen. Yep. I remember that. Because on the show, I remember an episode where Ellen was saying she was gay in an episode of that show. Like, I remember that. Next. Buzz card. 
You just realized that you feel a closer relationship to the characters on Beverly Hills 90210 than to your own family. You really need to get a life. Move back two spaces. I'll play number 12. And still ate my plays. Sound clips. We haven't had that one yet in this game. The facts of life. We've had this one before. We've had that one before. It's the facts of life. That spin-off name of that spin-off of um different strokes. The facts of life, yep. But yeah, we've had that one before. I forgot I don't know which game, but I know we heard it before. Yeah. Alright, guys, I'm back. She just got back. Not Sarah, but um Oh I'm good, but Let's get this game finished. So the count right, 12 all plays and 8 my plays. Next. Another all play, number 13. Pictograms again. Fifth time it's appeared in this game. The most times it's appeared in a TV scene game so far of the videos. Oh, Little House on the Prairie. They have a small box with the little house, and then there's the prairie. So that's an easy one. A show I definitely want to watch all of, because I've seen plenty of it before. Want to find the whole DVD set for it. I definitely want to watch the entire series. Like, I may be a young person, I'm like 20 years old, but I respect the classic shows. I like the classics too. Like, and of the old shows like that, that's one of my favorites. So, I mean, I like plenty of modern stuff too, but I do like... I do respect the classics and the old stuff too, so. Plenty of old stuff I like. Next. Yeah, another all play, number 14. But that was like the fifth pictograms of this game, so of all the TV scene videos I've done, that's the most times it's appeared. So, 14th all play in total now. Still eight my plays. And this one's a tune in. Oh, we've had this one before. Um, what was it? Was it the OC? Yep. Like, I don't think I got it the last couple times. It might have appeared more than once, but this time I actually remembered to get it. Or I might have gotten it the last time too, who knows. Another my play. So number nine now. Fourteen all plays, nine my plays. So we're gonna get another clip. What's this one gonna be from? Oh we haven't had this clip yet. Get your hand back on your head. Father, we have less than three hours left. Get down! Wait, 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 wait! I will offer you one consolation. Your family will be joining you soon. Your uh -oh. son Alexis, do you want to see him again? Alexis is dead. No, he's uh -oh. not. We've got him. You are lying. How else would I know that he was supposed to have a meeting with one of Senator Palmer's staff, a woman named Elizabeth Nash, in room 1243 at 4.30 this afternoon? Yeah, that's true. We captured him. I know where he is. Is he about to kill him? Get in here. Oh. What is the name of Kiefer Sutherland's character in the show? Oh, I don't know what show this is. It looks like a cool show, though. 
but let's see. We'll get the name of the, the answer here, and then we'll see what the name of the show is at the top. Alright, Jack Bauer. Oh, the show's 24. Oh, I've heard of that show. Um, yeah, I've heard of 24. Like, I've seen some clips of it. Besides this, but not a whole lot. But, yeah, that looks like another show that I'd want to watch. That I'd want to watch all of. Trivia card. Whose catchphrase was, the devil made me do it? It was Flip Wilson. Another trivia card. Same category, too. What product wakes you up in the morning like a cold slap in the face? Skin bracer aftershave. Trivia card again, but different category. What 60s show featured Todd Styles and successive companions Buzz Murdoch and Link Case traveling around the country in a Corvette? It was Route 66. Oh, in a Corvette, nice car. Another my play. My play number 10. So 14 all plays, 10 my plays. Alright, so the counts are getting kind of close. We haven't had this one either. My nose! I think he broke it! I'm gonna kick his butt! Just tell your brother that was for Lucy Chase. Next time he wants to have dinner with my girlfriend, he'll get worse than that. Oh my god, Joe, you're bleeding. I can't stand the sight of blood. I think I'm gonna faint. Faye, you're looking kind of pale. Yeah, you are, Faye. Why don't you sit down? Hey! Hey, I'm bleeding over here! Yeah, really aren't looking too good either. Here, I better take to the doctor. Oh, my face. I can't believe that, guys. I don't even know Lucy Chase. Yeah, well, you wouldn't like her, Joe. She's not really your type. You know her? Yeah, I had dinner with her last night. What? Right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I've put this together. Both of you guys are named Hackett, and this guy's girlfriend went out with a guy named Hackett. Therefore... Oh, never mind. I oh, was... thought I was on to something, but it's gone now. What? Oh, yeah, well, thanks a lot, Brian. Date I one of them, too. Your nose. Yeah, I know. You're one lucky fella, boy. Oh, I'm lucky? Oh, yeah. You knew that I stayed over at Lucy's for breakfast. He'd have killed you. <laughs> oh, really? All right, what do we have? What is the last name of the brothers? Hackett. I heard it. Hackett or Backett, whatever it was, but I heard it clearly. Clear as day. Or oh, it was Hackett. My first guessing was right, too. And the show is Wings. All right. All right, next. A star. So now it's a, um, oh, crap. Um, I believe I didn't all play last for that, so it's another my play. So 11th one. 14 all plays, 11 my plays. We usually don't get that many my plays. Besides that movie scene at Deluxe I did back in 2015, where we had like, I believe, 14 my plays. But here's number 11. And it's yet another clip. We haven't had this clip either. Are these guys concentrating on any particular area of the city? Now we're getting complaints from all over, all over town. I have a hunch they're concentrating right here. And nobody will talk to you. No, I tell you, Frank, without a, a witness, we're pins. dead. Don't tell We're just going to have to get our own evidence firsthand. I don't understand, Frank. Well, now let's say a new merchant moves into the neighborhood, opens up a shop. Okay. A new, a new merchant, merchant moves, moves into, into the, the neighborhood, neighborhood and opens up a shop. Then let's say. That merchant attracts a certain couple of thugs who demand payments. All right. That and merchant attracts a certain couple of thugs who demand payments. That's a good plan, Frank. Al, get down to this neighborhood here. Locate a small business that we can occupy immediately. Okay, Lieutenant, I'll get right on it. What happened to your paint? I ran into a fire sprinkler. Okay, go ahead. Well, that's a tall guy. Um... 
Name the actor who plays Lieutenant Frank Drebin on this show. I don't know what show this is. Come on. Alright, I don't know this one. I don't even know what show that is. Alright, what is it? The answer to the question is Leslie Nielsen. Oh, I've heard of him. And the show is Police Squad. Alright. A star, so now it's a trivia card. What actor played series characters Victor Quintas and Bobby Simone, as well as King Solomon in the TV movie Solomon and Sheba? Jimmy Smith. Trivia card again, same category, the take three. Who starred in Murder, she wrote, Father Dowling Mysteries, and Happy Days? Tom Bosley. Star, so now it's a buzz card. Your trial for American Idol was a dream come true. The judges couldn't stop laughing. Oh wait, your song wasn't supposed to be funny. Move back two spaces. Oh, we haven't had this buzz card yet. Ah. So there we go. Instead, move back two. Another buzz card. We have had this one before, but at least one time. You have just been banned for life from your favorite lunch joint by the soup Nazi. No more soup for you. Go back two spaces. Yeah, I'm going to show it to show the proof that this actually has no more suit for you in capital letters. I'm going to show it proof. But let me turn this on for a bit, see if that will help. Yep, you can see it right there. See, that's proof. So I have my evidence, and it's set back up too. So geez, it's going back, and it was getting close to all play to win. And we get a normal all play, speaking of. Speaking of all plays. Number 15. What we have this time around? Spellbinder. Alright. Um, family Matters. Now, I've watched that show before. Not a whole lot. Well, I watched it when I was little, but... But yeah, I remember that show. Steve Urkel and all. Actually, a pretty good show. I liked it. So, yeah. That'd be another show I'd want to watch all of. Trivia card. What 70s show's main character have been taught as a youth by Master Poe and Master Khan? Kung Fu. Trivia card. Which old featured paramedics named Roy DeSoto and John Gage and a nurse named Dixie McCall? Emergency. Alright. Trivia card again. Who played Oscar Madison and, and Felix Unger in the 1970s series The Odd Couple? Jack Klugman and Tony Randall. There's supposed to be like an A right there. Uh, between the Madison and Felix, but yeah, it's missing. That's a typo. Buzz card. After some sleuthing by Peter, it's revealed that you were responsible for losing Mr. Brady's architecture plans. Move back two spaces while you join Tiger in the doghouse. Again, right before all play to win, a buzz card screws it up. Next, another all play, 16th one. 